Hi everyone, welcome to the Piano Keys. I'm so glad that you're here. In this video, I'll play for you my piano arrangements of the song Once Upon a December from the animated movie Anastasia or Anastasia. I have two versions. One of them is an easy piano version. And in this version, I changed the key from the original to make it easier to read and to play. I shortened the song and I simplified the right hand and the left hand. I also included suggested fingering and pedaling marks. In the intermediate slash advanced version, um, I kept the original key and it's much, much longer than the easy version because it follows the outline of the original song. It's definitely more advanced technically than the easy version. And I did not include fingering or pedaling marks because by that level, you're expected to be able to handle that on your own. The links to the sheet music for both versions are in the description box and in the comments. Later in this video, after the performances, I'll be talking a little bit about the song, the movie, the history that it's based on. So if you're interested in background info, then keep watching after you hear the music. So if you're ready to see both versions, then keep watching.
Okay, so before we get going on the talk about the music, I just want to remind you that you can be on my mailing list by sending me an email to marina at thepianokeys.com. The advantage of being on the mailing list is that I can send you emails with updates and special content that may not be reaching you um, if you rely on YouTube algorithms. You can also join my Facebook group, Piano Practice Tips with the Piano Keys. You have to answer every question and agree to the group rules before I let you in. On my website, thepianokeys.com, I've got a bunch of stuff for you like tutorials, courses to help you level up, um, sheet music, articles in my blog, things like that. I'm also on Instagram, the Piano Keys TPK. Okay, so this gorgeous song is from the 1997 animated musical film, Anastasia, and it's an alternate history film that is loosely based on real events that happened in Russia. So in 1918, uh, Russia was having a period of turmoil where the Soviets were, or the communists, were rising up and overthrowing the monarchy that had been in place for hundreds of years. The last royal family to rule Russia were the Romanovs. And Tsar Nicholas II and his wife, the Empress Alexandra, along with their five children, were taken captive by these Soviet revolutionaries. Anastasia, or as she was properly known, the Grand Duchess Anastasia, was the youngest daughter of the family. The Soviet government had covered up these murders. They wouldn't admit to uh, it having been done. And so the rumors and myths about Anastasia being able to escape the assassination were rampant. Lots of women claimed to be the surviving Anastasia, and the most well-known of these imposters was a woman named Anna Anderson. In recent years, since the collapse of the Soviet Union, the graves were discovered, and through DNA testing, we now know that Anastasia actually did perish um, in 1918. Even though the film was criticized by historians for being historically inaccurate, it actually did really well. People loved the animations, the music, the acting, and it did manage to make quite a bit of money. There were several projects that were inspired by this movie, among them an ice skating show and a stage musical that premiered in 2016. It's interesting that the film score, which is not the songs, but like the music that you hear in the film, was composed, co-orchestrated, and conducted by David Newman, who is part of the very famous Newman family of film composers. His father, Alfred Newman, composed the score, or the movie music, for the movie that was called Anastasia that was made back in 1956. Now, the songs from the movie were written by Lynn Ahrens and Stephen Flaherty, and Once Upon a December was the very first song that was written for this project. The song Once Upon a December does use a melody that sounds typically Russian and the harmonies that one would expect to hear in Russian music, and so it fits right into the context of being about a Russian girl. The film Anastasia or Anastasia was released one week after another very famous film by Disney called The Little Mermaid and there was quite a bit of competition between the two studios that made these movies. When this film was released in Russia, the distribution company made sure that uh, they presented it as not a historical film but a fairy tale set against a background of real Russian events. So that's a little bit of information about this music and what it was based on and things like that. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment. If you're interested in donating to keep this channel going, I do have a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description box and in the comments. Keep practicing, have fun, and I will see you soon. Bye!